Hey, it's Patty Sampson. Guess what I have? It is my new book, Drug Campaign Secrets. My labor of love is here. It's here and I'm excited. It's out and it's on Amazon. You can get it digital or you can get the paperback version. It's about 275 easy read pages and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So what you're going to get is the ultimate guide to the CRM and drip campaign mastery. Capture, nurture, and convert more leads to keep your pipeline full, real estate agents. I've been working on this book for over three years, but I've been thinking about it for at least 12, <laughs> I can tell you that. And that finally, at long last, everything, uh, every little bit of information that I can share with you to convert more sales through all the leads that you might be getting and spending time sitting open houses or farming or anything you're doing to lead generate we are going to help you. I am going to help you to convert more of those leads. So what I want to do really quick, since this is kind of the official, not official launch, uh, I'm going to go through the con table of contents. You can see what's included in the book. And I really hope that you pick it up while it's affordable right now. Let's go ahead and flip on. I'm going to go ahead and flip on my table of contents, which is on page three or four of the book. You see right here. Uh, just so that you can see it, I'm going to go to my screen here. So let's go ahead and flip that on right now and then I'll show you what's in the book. Okay, so here we are in the book and um, this is the first page of the book and I've got a couple of pages, but I'm heading down to the table of contents because I'm going to go through really quickly what I've got included in the book here. Really excited about this. So first I'm just going to talk about a follow-up assessment. You're going to have to ask yourself some questions about your current business and I want to make sure that you know where you stand currently because if you don't know, you don't know. It's kind of like putting on a pair of glasses for the first time and all of a sudden you realize, oh my God, I didn't know where I was in this whole follow-up saga and why I've been challenged. Now I know because I've asked myself some questions about my current business. So we're going to do that. We're going to talk about the things you need to know about before you get started what comes first? What are you going to do? What do you have to do to get started before you start lead generating? You got to get this set up. We're going to talk about how automation can really save time and money for yourself and the reality of being a real estate agent, how tough it is, but how can we get our lives under control by having a better follow-up system and stop working reactively, but instead working proactively. So we're going to show you how to be in two places at once by doing this. Okay. Then I'm going to talk about choosing a CRM. One of my biggest pet peeves that real estate agents do is they go on to social media and they ask everybody, what's the best CRM? I'm going to tell you right now, friends, the best CRM is not the CRM that your friend agent is using because they want a dialer and you don't. So you need to know what it is that you need and then you choose the CRM that's going to work for what your business is not what your agent friend is. So stop asking that question on your social media sites. It drives me nuts and you're not doing yourself any favors because you're going to go pick a CRM that you're either going to love or you're going to hate it. Probably going to hate it because Joe agent told you he loves it. Well, he's not doing the same kind of business as you. So we're going to talk about what a CRM is first. What are you doing in the current CRM if you have one? What your CRM will not do for you and what it shouldn't be doing for you? We're going to make sure you're asking the right questions of yourself and also of the CRM companies. And then we're going to talk about should you have a free one or a paid one and what the, what's the difference? And what do you expect when you are paying for one? What are you paying for? What's it costing you? And what are you getting out of it? And what is the value of having a CRM? <laughs> It's a whole other thing too. People always look at this as kind of the last, I don't want to spend any money on my CRM. I don't need to. Well, guess what? It's the most important tool in your trunk. And if you don't have this thing running smoothly, you're wasting money. If you're out there spend, you're wasting money and time actually, if you're out there lead generating without a tool to help you convert your business, right? Um, and we're going to talk about those other benefits that you're going to get out of your CRM that you probably didn't even know about, right? Same thing. Take those glasses off, put them back on and realize, oh my God, I had no clue. Well, that's what we're going to talk about. All right. The power of automation. You probably don't realize it, but the majority of the marketing that you get from anybody out there is automated. How much have you actually purchased from automated emailing, texting, things that have come to you 
probably more than you have any idea. But if you do this right, it will look like you actually sat down and meant to type it up every single time you're communicating with somebody. And we're going to make sure that you know what it is you have to say and do so that people realize or don't realize that you had to sit down or not type this up manually. So we're going to show you how to do this. All right. Also, for those of you who have not been following me, guess what? There are five steps that I picked up through working hundreds of thousands of internet leads, and I mean hundreds of thousands of them through the last 20 years being a real estate agent, being an agent coach, being a team leader, being a broker, understanding what it is that you need to do in order to automate and, and how automation can make your life so much better so that you can be in two places at once and make it seem like you actually meant to send the stuff. So we're going to talk about all the things that you can automate, things you probably didn't even think about, okay? And that's going to be part of your five-step closing formula that I picked up through all the years of working on these leads. So might as well take the information I've learned and go run with it, okay? The Drip Campaign Secrets. So that's what the book is called. We're going to talk at nauseum about how and why you need drip campaigns running. And no, email is not dead. Texting is hot. We're going to talk about all the tasks that you can put into a drip campaign that's going to make your life way better. And you probably didn't, you probably thought it was just emailing. Hey, there's way more you can do with your drip campaign. And we don't want you to waste the opportunity to take advantage of all those things. We're going to talk about the types and lengths of your drip campaigns, the ideal timing of the campaigns if there is such a thing. We're gonna talk about merge field codes. So you probably don't really know what those are if you've never used a drip campaign before, but this is the thing that's gonna personalize your content. So we're gonna show you how to use it to the best of your ability. And we're gonna talk about the kind of drip campaigns you should have in your library. And also how to create them yourself if you wanna create them yourself. So really key, and that's gonna be everything from scheduling and building, all the way down to, guess what the next chapter is? Writing your email and text content and, and getting it so that people actually want to talk to you. We're going to talk about all my hot tips. We're going to talk about one of the most important ways to get more email open is going to be through your subject lines. And what do we know the difference between our from line, our subject line, and our preview text that's going to get more mail open? Because guess what? If you don't get mail open, you're never going to get people responding to you. So that's really, really key. Effective and educational content and templates. What do we need to know about that? Including the response motivators it's going to take for you to write something to get somebody to respond to you. What are those things you have to consider when you're writing your own stuff? And what's in a header and a footer. What are those things that you need to have? Oh, the templates that you need to have. You know, I skipped over that. The templates you need to have in your library. Make sure that you know the kind, kind of templates. I'm going to give you examples if you want to write your own. And then make sure that your header and your footer is actually going to be helpful to you. You're either going to have one as a header or you're not. Personally, I'll give you my tip on it. I don't care for them, but I'll tell you why in the book. And the footer, how can you use it to help brand you and drive people to your site? The things you want to make sure you consider when you are creating a footer, because it might cause your email to go in the spam folder. So I'm going to talk about that too. Let's see. So we've got the header and the footer and the texting, oh, and the texting stats and the importance of texting in your drip campaigns if you have the ability to do that. And then um, we are going to talk about the spam folder. I get this question all the time. How all my mail is going in the spam folder, that damn CRM, that thing's a piece of crap. Well, the reality is, friend, it's probably not the CRM's fault. It's probably your fault. But it's not your fault because you didn't know what you didn't know about why email ends up in the spam folder. So we're going to talk about the things and the triggers that you need to avoid and the, just making sure that you're setting up your email so that it does get into the inbox as opposed to the spam folder. By the way, there's not going to be 100% of time that you're going to get every piece of email into the inbox. It just doesn't happen when you're using an emailing bulk, bulk sending emailing tool. But we're going to show you and tell you exactly the things that I would suggest you do to try to avoid most of your mail going to the spam folder. Okay? Then, lastly, not really lastly, but... 
almost lastly, mining your database. So now you're going to start getting a lot of responses from people. How are you going to track this? How are you going to make sure you don't lose track of the hottest business? What are you looking for that you can actually use your CRM and your website to identify the hottest business in your database so that you're not wasting your time every single day and trying to go down your list alphabetically and getting nowhere fast. You want to only spend the time with the people every day. If you had 30 minutes to do some prospecting, you only want to spend the time with the people that are showing interest in what's going on. How do you identify that? So we want to make sure that you're sending good stuff so that it's getting eyeballs on it and you're going to know who is seeing what you're sending. We're going to show you how. So we're going to talk about first cleaning up your database because it may be a total hot mess. And I know this because I train agents all over the country all the time and I help you clean your databases up and they are almost similar across the board. They're usually a disaster. You have too many tags. You don't know what you're using them for. You're not using all the fields that you could be using. You don't know how to search your database for the hottest business and the people that are going to have a chance to do business with you. Let's get your database cleaned up first. And then we're going to talk about moving them through the pipeline so that you're putting these people in the correct uh, drip campaigns based on where they're at all the time. I get, I got close clients. What am I going to send them? Good question. Let's talk about that. I'm going to talk about that in here. Um, tracking contact inter interaction. So now you've got people communicating. How are you making sure you don't lose track of what you've said to them? Let's talk about that. And then prioritizing the hottest business. So like I said, if you have 30 minutes to prospect every day and you should use your CRM as an office that you go into every day and you just pretend those people walked into your office, let's figure out who those people could be. And you want to spend the time with those folks. Okay. And then of course the money's in the follow-up. How are we going to make sure that we're doing this on a daily basis so that we can start making more money and earning more commissions from our very expensive and time consuming leads. And then I have a bonus chapter for you at the end and I'm excited about it because it is called the life cycle of a lead magnet. And I'm going to take you through the nine things that you need to do in order to get yourself set up so that you can automate a lead magnet, which is an irresistible free offer that you're going to get put together if you want or get them from somewhere and make sure that you're putting this into a plan so that when someone does sign up for it, how are they getting into your CRM? How are they signing up? How are you setting up it all so it automates so that after they sign up, you stay in front of them and you're not having to run home after a long day and turn on a drip campaign. We're going to automate that whole thing. So we're going to talk about that. In fact, I think personally, that could be the subject of my next book <laughs> is all the steps in great depth, but I've got uh, something to get you started in here and also to give you help along the way. So Go to the link below, get the book. I'm excited. I think it's time for you to finally get your follow-up poop in a group. And now is the time to do it because the book is here and you can get it either digital, you can get it paperback. And eventually I do plan on getting on the audible version, but right now I wanted to get it out to you because this is so key. It's quiet now maybe for you because people are in a holding pattern at this moment, but um, whether or not, whenever you're watching this video, Everybody needs this. If you're getting any kind of leads, everybody needs this book because you have to be sure you've got your stuff set up right. And uh, we're going to give you every opportunity to get all the help you need, either through the book, doing it yourself, or how to get help from me. So anyway, get, get the book and let's get you up and running and finally automating your follow-up. Drip Campaign Secrets. And the link is just check it out below. We'll see you soon. I can't wait to have you read it. You're going to learn a ton.